Common sayings of lost people number 19. I'm spiritual, but not religious. Did you ever hear that one? I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. Uh, let's look at what the Bible has to say about that and what you can show to one of these people. Matthew chapter 15, verse 8 and 9. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Speaking of Pharisaical religion and things, but uh, when you get right down to it, anybody that makes traditions and feelings and whatever else and elevates that above the Scriptures, you say, well, I feel this, and it's above the Scriptures. Um, whenever you do that, you're a Pharisee, a religious Pharisee. Um, those of us that hold the King James Bible as our final authority, um, we're not Pharisees. <clears throat> Titus chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Um, most of the people I've had experience with that say I'm spiritual but not religious, what they really mean is they don't mean I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and I reject organized religion. No, they don't mean that. What they mean is I'm creating my own religion. I'm creating my own feelings and everything else. I don't really care what the Bible says. I just, I have my spiritual beliefs and I kind of lean somewhat you know, new age, and I, I kind of, you know, like some things about Christianity, but I like some things about other things as well. And, you know, they create their own religion is what they're doing. Um, the religious, not religious thing that they're talking about is right here. They reject what this book says there. That's why they can profess that they know God. They can claim to believe in Jesus Christ. But yet when you look at what they're doing with their life, in works, the things that they do, um, their actions don't meet, match up with their profession, you see. Um, they're abominable. Yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Again, it's the way of a fool. You see, there's two different types of atheists. There's ones that profess that they're atheists. They say, I don't believe in God. Uh, I'm an atheist. I don't believe. I don't have any belief. It's just all informed, scientific, rational. Uh, yeah, whatever. That You have those, okay? Then you have your practicing atheists. Now, those practicing atheists, they might make a profession that they believe in God, even going so far as to saying that they profess that they believe that Jesus died for their sins and whatever else. I'm a professing Christian. But what do their actions show? Their actions show that all their... Christian profession thing is it's all intellectual. They have no desire for actual contact between them and Almighty God and God saying, hey, stop doing that sin there. Hey, you need to quit doing that. You need to you know, do this and do that. They don't want God control in their life. So they just come along and they say, I'm going to create my own little religious system here. I don't need to call upon the Lord to be saved. Actually come to Him in a broken, contrite spirit and say, God, could you please save me? and then wait for Him to save you. No, they come along and they have an intellectual belief up here where they say, oh, He died on the cross to pay for my sins? Well, you know, all my sins, I guess. You know, So yeah, hey, I'll take this thing. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm saved now because I put my faith in that there and, and I don't need to ask God and I don't really, I'll just kind of do my little prayer thing. I'll say a little prayer for you, you know, just like lost people do. And um, I'll just have my little Christian thing that I can discard anytime I want to. I'll go to my church on Sunday, little church building, and I'll do my little Christian thing, and then I go to work, and I laugh at the dirty jokes, and I tell the dirty jokes, and I cuss, and I drink with my buddies after work and whatever else. But, you know, I can just, I can, my religion is, is just something I can put in my pocket when I need it and leave it at home when I don't need it, you see. I'm spiritual, but not religious. That's what these people are. They're practicing atheists. Oh, absolutely. They live without reference to God. And that's why when a Christian comes along and says, Oh, the Lord showed me this, and boy, the Lord told me that this thing here. Boy, i got to show you this thing the Lord showed me in Scripture. They'll start to make fun of you. Oh, God spoke to you. Oh, you know, whatever. And a lot of times these, these practicing atheists too, by the way, they'll study all kinds of books on theology and everything else as a cloak for their sin. Um, they'll, get all, they'll get some of the greatest minds out there on Christianity and they'll study that stuff. And they learn all the right things to say, and they can really convince you sometimes. But what they don't want is they don't want that personal connection. 
where you ask God to save you and then He saves you and He starts to communicate with you. And His Holy Spirit moves within and all of a sudden you start to hate sin the way He hates sin. And you start to judge sin because He's judging sin through you. You see, lost people don't want that. They want to have a, a spiritual experience, but they don't want to be religious. They don't want a bunch of rules to govern their life. Yeah. Here's why. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 2. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. Yeah. What's your heart condition? The Lord's going to look into it. Oh, I'm a, I'm a pretty good person. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Mm-hmm. Sure. You see, the Bible's got your number. And when you're a Christian and you're dealing with lost people and you run into these common sayings here, this is how you answer them. Okay? With the Scriptures.